Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today is day one of 75 Soft Round 4. So these are the rules for this round of 75 Soft. They're different than the last one that I just completed and these are them. No binging, okay? If I emotionally eat, let's make this clear. If I emotionally eat, okay? I do not have to start 75 soft over. I am still going along with doing 75 soft because these are my rules. And if you have a problem with it, then that's on you, it's not my problem. Um, one 45 minute workout. Now, I will say with this workout, I can split it up if I want to. Some days I might have to, but my goal is to just get it out of the way, just get it in and out of the way first thing in the morning. So one, one 45 minute workout. Last time I split it up into two 20 minute workouts. Drink 120 ounces of water, that's still a goal. Take a progress picture, that is also still a goal. And then also read 10 pages of any book is also still a goal. Now, the things that are drastically different different are the personal tasks that I have personally added on to 75 soft. So the personal tasks that I personally have added on for this round of 75 soft that I have to do for the next 75 days are this. I have to limit social media to three hours a day with the exception, obviously, social media is my job. So if I'm working, then that does not count. It's social media for personal use or just entertainment for myself. Um, and that is also except rest day. That is something I did not mention with my workouts. There is one rest day that I can take per week and that I will take per week that I do between a 20 and 30 minute yoga workout. And really it's just stretching and breathe breath work. So that's what I'll do one day a week. Instead of taking an actual rest day, I still do a little something, something. Everything else has to get done on rest day. Like I said, the, out, the workout is, instead of it being 45 minutes, it'll be a 20 to 30 minute yoga workout. Okay, makeup and cute outfit every single day, except rest day. And then clean for 15 minutes every single day, except rest day. I actually picked these guys, I actually picked these out on a live stream with you guys. We had so much fun. So I hope that you guys were able to make that live stream. I really, really, really enjoyed live streaming with you guys. If you guys do want more live streams, I do have them. I do them every week and you guys can come be a part of my membership. Like I said, we do weekly live streams. I also have a members only Facebook page. I do a members only video once a month. So more information on my membership will be listed down below in the description box. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into day one of 75 soft round four.
my own, broken alone. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. is 8 30 and i already have my first water drink so drank some on my second one and i have to drink three of these i got my entire workout done it it just feels so amazing so i got my workouts and i also took my progress picture this morning because obviously today is the first day of 75 soft let me go ahead and put my progress picture in here so here is my progress picture that is day one of 75 soft again this is round four so i have already completed 225 days of 75 soft and i just keep going straight into them and i really enjoy it so yeah i will check in with you guys throughout the day here is my cute outfit i still can't believe how good these jeans feel and fit i got them from shein i'll see if i can link them and then this shirt is i'm in complete disbelief on how this thing fits like this used to fit so skin tight <laughs> that i would be constantly tugging on it but i got this from torrid probably can't link it because it's probably still not available i have my chuck taylor's which i'm so excited about by the way my camera died in the gym one of the things in my cool down is a quad stretch and I sat there thinking, this right here will never get old. Because at one point, this one's always so much harder. <laughs> I had it in the gym. I don't know why I can't get it right now. Hold on. But at some point, no, seriously, why can't I get it? I can grab my jean. But at one point, I wasn't able to do this. So I will never take this for granted. And I'm sure one point... And I'm sure at one point I will forget, but I'm sure that there will also be little sparks of memory anytime I'm doing a quad stretch like this. <laughs> so anyways, Chuck Taylors, love them. I really need to clean them because they're kind of dirty. Actually, they're really dirty. They just look gross. And then jewelry, makeup. This is day one, my cute outfit and put on makeup. We can go ahead and mark this off. I am about to make lunch and I am making what I have coined, <laughs> I've coined this term, the summer, mm, the salad of the summer. Most of you guys are probably tired of seeing this, but it's what I'm eating today and it's delicious and I'm excited to eat it. So let me go ahead and show you everything if you haven't seen it enough already <laughs> that goes in this salad and Let's make it together. First, get you a big old salad bowl and we are going in with spring mix. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of this. It is on its last leg too. Next, blueberries. I do 50 grams. I usually do 98 grams of strawberries, but I'm thinking that I'm not going to have 98 grams of strawberries here. I had almost 91. I usually do 71 grams of mango, but since I didn't have that many strawberries, I'm going to do, dang it, I forgot already. I think it's 83 grams, 50 calories worth of mango, which is 83 grams. This mango, girl, it is so sweet. And yes, I keep the skin on it when I eat it like this in chunks because it's very nutritious for you. So I leave it on. 
you think it would be gross, then obviously cut it off. I have mozzarella cubed, so a serving, which is 28 grams, going down into the mix. I have these sweetened, dried, reduced sugar cranberries, and 20 grams of this goes down into the mix. I don't know that I even have 20 grams, we'll see. Nope, I only had 12 grams. Then I have these salted and roasted sunflower kernels. So I do 14 grams of this. For our dressing, I have this light Olive Garden Italian. So Olive Garden light Italian dressing. I use this because it only has 30 calories in a serving and a serving is two tablespoons or 32 grams. So that is what I'm adding. And last but not least, we are going to add our chicken. This is rotisserie chicken, so I'm just going to, what I end up doing is putting, four, weighing out four ounces, putting it up top, and then I will take it out of the bowl, put it onto my cutting board, and cut it into bite-sized chunks. And this back into the salad. And within just a few minutes, you have this delicious, nutritious, lovely salad. So I'm going to go eat this. I'm working on my second water, but I'm almost done. It's not even 12 yet. It's like 1130. Um, I love waking up early. Anyways, I'm going to go eat and I'll check it with you guys later. So my salad was amazing. I am now on my way to take myself out on a solo date because what do I tell you guys all the time? Self-care, getting to know yourself, being self-aware, all of these things are so important when you are in a transformation slash weight loss journey. And this is stuff that I have been prioritizing for myself this entire year and it really has made a difference because I am learning to love myself and I am learning myself again, my likes, my dislikes. So I am on my way to go see It Ends With Us. I read this book. This book, I'm not gonna lie, it really triggered me. I'm not gonna lie, it really triggered me. But I was in a different mind space back then. I think it was last year. And I don't think I'm gonna get triggered, so. I'm so excited to go see this. I'm so excited that I'm also doing this for myself, you know? Because listen, in life, there's gonna be things, no matter what season in life you are in, where you're gonna wanna go do something and either you have people in your life that are just like, oh, I don't wanna go do this with you, or you just don't have the friends to go ask to do it. And whatever it is that you want to go do, get comfortable enough to go do it yourself with yourself, by yourself. Uh, this is not the first time that I've been to the movies by myself. The first time was actually to go see Taylor Swift's Eras Tour movie tour concert. <laughs> and I went for my birthday. I'm not sure if I went on my actual birthday. I know the camera's shaking, sorry about that. But I know that I took myself for my birthday that I was celebrating my birthday. So it is not my first time at the movie theater. I did pack some snacks. I made some popcorn, melted some butter, have it in a little baggie. I have some smart sweets. I didn't finish my watermelon from this morning, so I was like, why not go ahead and bring that too? Oh, I didn't bring a napkin. Do I have a napkin in here? No. Oh, I'm sitting here, I don't know that I'm gonna wanna eat that. Oh, that ain't, that, that's used. <laughs> That's not new. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna want you my. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know that I'm gonna want to eat the watermelon now. But I also brought a grape zevia as well. So I'm so excited. <laughs> to Shiz University, Miss Alphaba. You can room with me. should be afraid of me. That was so good. 
Oh my gosh. I forgot how powerful that ending is. It just had me walking out of that theater like, yeah. Because really, I left not for myself. I left for my kids. They gave me the strength to leave. Just like in the movie and in the book. And I just think about the person that I am now because I left. I would never be sitting, having a solo date. I am back. I'm about to clean that air fryer, but I wanted to look on the back of this real quick. So it's sweetened with stevia. So I will link Zevia, duh, Zevia, stevia. Makes sense now. This one is really good. I think this one was my favorite. I can't remember how many I've tried or which ones I've tried, but I will link this down below from Amazon if you're interested. I wanted to show you again, this was a close-up of the Smart Sweets. It's the Barbie one, Pink Lemonade Dream. These are so freaking good. Like any of the Smart Sweets, the, can't, the gummy ones, so good. So, like I said, I wasn't hungry and I was just intrigued because I was, I put the butter in over the popcorn in here and then I shook it up. There's a lot of butter that went on the side, so I was intrigued. Anyways, and then here is my watermelon that I did not eat. So I just drank my soda and ate my popcorn. And now we are about to get over and do that air fryer. I usually have a steel wool because that thing is so hard to clean without it. So we're going to have to figure out how to clean this with just a little scraper and hopefully it won't take the 15 minutes. If it doesn't, then I'm also gonna clean this bowl out, which I have no idea why it's so dirty, but I'm just gonna go ahead and set this right here and I'll probably end up doing both. But I'm gonna go ahead and set my, my timer. <laughs> my timer, I'm not gonna start it yet, but here's where the timer is. And I'm gonna move y'all over here. Let me show you what it looks like first, and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like, cause I'm not gonna film the whole 15 minutes, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be trying to do other things, like listening to music and listening to my friend's message and stuff. But actually, are all the lights on? It's so dark in here. This is what the outside looks like, okay? And then you pull it and it's all the shadows are annoying, but <laughs> the lighting sucks in this kitchen. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you can see, but it's all dirty and it's right here. It's always a you know what to clean. And usually this is the thing that I literally have to like scrub, scrub. So I'm gonna vacuum up all these little, and I'll link the little vacuum down below because it is a must in, in everyone's kitchen in my opinion but I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up all these little crumbs and then we'll scrub this as much as we possibly can and scrub this as much as we can too. Oh, not scrub it, but use this to try to, oh, actually it looks like it's pretty, coming up pretty well. Pretty good. Maybe it'll be the same for that too, so maybe it won't be that bad. All right, let's get to cleaning.
it's actually not that bad but do you guys see like right here oh yeah y'all y'all might not be do you, yeah you see it you see it right it's so bad but like i said i can't get what i cannot get that without steel wool i did so many things to try to get it clean y'all probably don't care um but that's what it's looking like again i would have gotten that way more clean with a steel wool but i can only do what i can do right now same with that so I was able to get that done within 15 minutes. And then I also did clean this as well. So let's mark that off. It actually wasn't that bad, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Cleaned for 15 minutes. Now I think I'm gonna go read. It is dinner time and I completely forgot that I put that I was gonna have another salad. So I'm obsessed with salads, who cares? I have shown this before and it is absolutely delicious in there i have these just bear chicken nuggets they are these are so delicious i just finished them up and i actually had to add some of the real good lightly breaded chicken nuggets in there as well either one of them i feel are going to be delicious so that's the protein slash meat part of the we're making a fried chicken salad so that's the fried chicken going in. And with fried chicken salads, I like to go in with romaine. So I did this the other day where I prepped it, cut it, washed it, put it in the salad spinner. So it is ready for me to eat. Now we're going to put in some garbanzo beans. I also already, again, I wanted to make this really simple for me to eat throughout the week. I went ahead and I already cleaned and rinsed I already rained. <laughs> I already drained and rinsed a can of garbanzo beans and just put it in this container. So I'm going to put 60 grams of garbanzo beans, which is going to add a little bit of protein and some fiber because your girl needs the fiber. I have been slacking and getting it in lately. So I've been really focusing on that. It's really easy to get your fiber in whenever you eat salads. So. Anyways, garbanzo beans down. I have an English cucumber that I cleaned, cut up. And I'm just going to take a couple of handfuls, put that down on top. And then I also have some cherry tomatoes that I also cleaned and cut up. So just put some of those in there. Velveeta shreds, I love this. It's 60 calories in a quarter cup which is great. So I'm gonna do a full serving, which is 28 grams. And then of course, to me, you can't have a fried chicken salad without some croutons. So I'm gonna add 18 grams worth of croutons in there as well. I pre-made my ranch dressing. All that's in here is 50 grams of fat-free plain Greek yogurt, one tablespoon of ranch dressing mix, and then 15 grams of a light, low calorie mayonnaise. Add some water, mix it together, and I pre-made like three or four of these ranch dressings. So super simple. I'm literally just waiting on the chicken to finish cooking, and I will have dinner. Literally came together in minutes, and this is something that if you're super busy eating healthier, Eating in a calorie deficit, it does not mean that you have to spend a whole ton of time. Yes, I took time out of my day on Saturday, and it was a good chunk of time. However, it's saving me so much time throughout this week. So that's super simple. Like I said, I just gotta wait on that, the chicken, and then I'm gonna cut it up a little bit into bite-sized pieces, pour my ranch over top, and bam, that is dinner, and it's delicious. And it has 527 calories in it, 48 grams of carbs, 44 grams of protein, 18 grams of fat, and five grams of fiber. Here is my chicken. These are the Just Bear ones. And then these are the real good food ones. Now I do think that the Just Bear ones are better for a fried chicken salad, because to me, they're more fried chicken-esque but it's still gonna be really freaking good and delicious. That is my fried chicken salad that I'm gonna eat tonight. And of course, I just put my ranch dressing 
over top and mix her up real good. Just finished my delicious salad. Got salad dressing on me. What else is new? I swear every time I have that ranch dressing, I get it somewhere. Uh, I am currently at 7,015 steps and me and my daughter are about to go take a little after dinner walk, walk this little dog of ours, and then also go check the mail. So that is where we are headed. I still have not read yet. And I have not been on social media like hardly at all, except to work and respond to DMs. I think I looked at a couple TikToks. That was about it. Uh, and then uh, I'm working on my last water of the day. Am I getting muscle? Oh, what the hell? Okay, so like this, obviously, I'm like, y'all, I'm praying that I do not have loose skin. Cause that's a lot. So hopefully we can get that to tone up, but. <laughs> what? I did not know my arms looked like that. I just kind of saw in the viewfinder and I was like, that kind of looks like some muscle, mus muscle, muscle going on. So maybe it's not, maybe it's just the flab and then Okay. All right. this video I hope that you guys enjoyed I'm definitely going to keep a mixture of these 75 soft vlogs you guys kind of voted I feel like a lot of most of you the majority of you that voted voted that I keep them weekly but then some of you in the comment section were talking about a nice mix and a mix would be nice so we're just kind of testing it out and trying I was also dabbling in the idea of me not sharing my weight once a week and me doing it monthly I really want to try my hand at doing more monthly updates than doing weekly we're gonna see how it goes I'm not a hundred percent sure so that is not set in stone but if you do want to be updated because I do let my members know how much I'm losing and if I have a good, like an amazing non-scale victory, like they know everything before you guys do essentially. Um, so if you guys want to be a part of that, definitely go join, definitely come join the membership. It is listed down below in the description box. We would love to have you guys there. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.